All right, Paul O'Sullivan, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Uh, but you are, you know, you're one of, you know, I, there are a lot of Paul O'Sullivan's in the world, but, but I, I've never heard of, I don't think anyone would have imagined that four musicians all named Paul O'Sullivan and you guys all, you all spell your name the same way. Correct. Yeah. Even the apostrophe. <laughs> you you've oh, all, yes. Yeah. You've, uh, you've all made, you've pretty much created a virtual band the Paul O'Sullivan Band. This is pretty cool, man. Can you tell me the background about this. this is, you guys are uh, are pretty new to the uh, uh, to the scene, right? Yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty is kind of when we took the idea public, um, but it started actually a long time ago. So I had a friend of mine that was a coworker, and he met his name twin in person. I think one of them, you know, my coworker obviously lives in my area in Baltimore, but he had a name twin in like the Pacific Northwest. Okay. Name he met up for lunch in Washington, D.C. one day, and he posted a picture on Facebook. So it kind of got the wheel spinning in my mind. I'm like, I wonder what my name twins are up to. So Your one, name oh, twins. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because uh, Pennsylvania, Paul, he, he coined the phrase doppelnamer instead of doppelganger week. Yeah. Right? Like, which is what they do every February with the celebrity. Right, 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 right. But we're the, we're the name, we're the name uh, lookalikes or the name twins. So, um, but yeah, so, you know, I was kind of, you know, just blatant curiosity. I'm like, I wonder what my, my name twins are up to. So one night I was just adding a bunch of other Paul O'Sullivan's. Sadly, not all of them accepted my request. But well, of some the, of those other Paul O'Sullivan's are probably jerks anyway. You know. That's I mean? true. That's true. <laughs> but of, of the ones who did, um, they all turned out to be musicians. And I was just like, this is too weird. So I'm, it was like, it felt like the universe was like daring me. So I'm like, you know, and I don't back down from a challenge. So I'm like, I got to turn this into an actual band. So that's like, what I did. It's like Barney Stinson uh, from uh, uh, from How I Met Your Mother. Challenge accepted. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And I just wanted to rise to the occasion. So we recorded a song together to kind of test the waters. And we, we made a music video. And that came out February of 2020. Right. And then March is when the, you know, the pandemic lockdowns really went into full effect. And uh, we're like, hey, we do a lot of remote stuff anyway. Why don't we kind of up the ante here and just do an entire album? So that's... That that just came out two weeks ago. Our, our album we we released it the second to last day of 2020 as a way to kind of end things on a good note. You know, right? The wild. That's pretty year. cool, man. Yeah, that's great. I was checking out uh, now. Uh, what's a website that people can go to uh, to check out uh, check out your music and check out your story? I would say primarily just like on social media and stuff. Like honestly, just just run a search for the Paulo Sullivan Band. Um, primarily, like our, our Instagram account is our main hub, and from our Instagram page. In, in our bio, we have a link to like everything you would need to know about us. Like, yeah. So I went and Google. I did go and Google you guys, uh, and I came. Here. Hey, there's another oh. one. Here he is. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that, um, thank you so much for inviting us. It's Pennsylvania, Paul. How are you? <laughs> oh. And so we were just talking about. Uh, I was just talking how um, I, I I was doing a Google search on you guys. Um, I was doing a Google search on you guys, uh, and I found I came across uh, you guys have some uh, some of your songs uploaded to YouTube. Uh, yeah. You have you already have a Wikipedia page? Did you guys yes. know that? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Just a few, a few days ago, yeah. That is hilarious. Uh, so we've got uh, four Pauls. There's Baltimore Paul, which is you. Uh, the the yeah. we're gonna call you the. Uh, the the founder of the band uh and there's pennsylvania paul who just joined us uh and then we have two other uh, paul sullivan's uh who are uh international this is uh, there's rotterdam paul and manchester paul right uh, <laughs> how did you tell me about those guys since they're not uh, on the call right now rotterdam paul is actually the only one of us from ireland <laughs> <laughs> right oh sullivan rotterdam he's the only one isn't that amazing that is hilarious. Because we were all talking about, well, we have to find an Irish Paul, right? Right. Irish, and we, of course, you know, his accent, but still. <laughs> That's great. And he, that he actually has dual citizenship in the Netherlands and Ireland. And he speaks, he's bilingual, or bilingual. He can speak Dutch and he can speak English. So it's. Wow. Wow. Gentlemen and, you, scholar. You, guys, you guys lucked out. Now, um, uh, you, how many uh, songs do you have on your uh, your debut virtual album? That's seven songs. So it's six cover songs and an original that we kind of tacked on. <laughs> it. So. I saw some of the covers. And uh, you and I were talking, Paul, uh, uh, Baltimore Paul, uh, last night. 
Uh, you guys did a um, uh, you did a cover of Africa by Toto, um, right. which is great. And if uh, and I'm gonna post it at the River1059.com uh, for Thank everyone to, to hear. Uh, but you guys also did a cover of Old Town Road by Lil Nas X, one of the biggest songs of uh, the last couple of years. And you also did Call Me Maybe by yeah. uh, I, I, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Uh, she, that that song was huge, like you know, a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, but what made you decide to choose uh, the covers that you chose? Which what, what made you decide those covers? So that was, um, you know, we kind of figured we're an internet band, so why don't we kind of you know pay homage to internet famous songs? So we we picked all songs that kind of stemmed from internet fame. You know, like for example, like with Old Town Road, that that started as like the, there was like a dance challenge, and then it right. Became, like a meme and then eventually it was like the number one song in the nation and then you know like with uh, africa it had that renaissance when weezer covered it you know after this 14 year old girl from cleveland tweeted right. it so it's just anything related to like internet culture so we just wanted to celebrate internet culture but, but we also wanted to kind of keep things lighthearted because you know right now like society has been things have been kind of heavy you know between the pandemic and and we just wanted to do something fun and keep it light and put a smile on people's faces and kind of, you know, not take ourselves too seriously. So, yeah, that's what that's what a lot of most people want now is just uh, just light and easy, light and easy. <laughs> Let me give you our mission statement. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pennsylvania, Paul. Go. If it if it makes you. Uh, no, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going <laughs> oh, try it again. If it dance, if it makes you dance. It, if it makes you sing, embrace it. If it does both, it's the Paulo Solo. Say it, say it one more time because you cut out there a little bit. Do, do the whole thing again. If it makes you smile, embrace it. Okay. If it makes you dance, lean into it. If it does both, it's the Paulo Sullivan band. I love it. It makes That's a lot of sense. To have people dance and smile and just enjoy themselves for a minute. Have fun. Don't take life too seriously, and uh, keep music in your life all the time. Pennsylvania, Paul. How uh, how have you been? Uh, how's the reaction been? I mean, you guys have gone viral. I know you guys have a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of people uh, knocking on your door to you know talk to you guys about this. I mean, I think you guys may be the world's first virtual band where you know only two of the members have actually met in real life uh so Pe uh, pennsylvania paul tell me uh, what the experience has been like for you well it's the same because we're all covid you know hiding from covid right we're, right. we're out and, and performing in front of live audiences but what's really wonderful is unlike other experiences the moment you explain what you're doing a smile comes up I mean, it's just silly, right? Right. And then you hear the music, and it and it does make you sort of want it a little bit, and, and then all of a sudden you realize, ah, they got us. <laughs> and that's really, it's been universal, right, Paul? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Friends, uh, people from high school that I haven't talked to in you know, a long time, they all just sort of respond exactly the same. They just a little smile. I wonder what it is. They listen. They just sort of get into the rhythm a little bit. Music, by the way. Yeah. Well, you guys, do you think once uh, COVID's over, do you think you guys will ever uh, actually try to do a little tour all in person? Or is or is the fact that you're in a, a virtual band, is that your gimmick? You just got to, I mean, maybe you'll meet like, in person, but you'll always perform virtually. So I would say we want to do like a four city tour, like each person's hometown. I think that would be really right. kind of make it like a limited edition thing. Um, but yeah, that that's that's what I would want to do. And, you know, we kind of want to be the persona after the Corona, you know, <laughs> that's great. And what about why don't we crowdsource the broadcast and simply have everybody in the audience, wherever we are broadcast live on their own phone yes if homage to we don't need you know to broadcast it out you do it yourself let's just let's just work it out <laughs> i love it i love it you know you guys have so much there's so much uh 
there's so much potential that you guys can do uh, uh, with the, there's so much potential that you guys can do. And it's just a really, it's, you know, for lack of a better term, it's, it's a really fun gimmick. It really is. And I just think it's, it's really incredible how four, four guys all named Paul O'Sullivan all have uh, all play instruments. You all play different instruments. Is that right? Yeah. 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 So Pennsylvania Paul's our percussionist. I'm the like uh, main singer and I do rhythm guitar. And then Rotterdam Paul does lead guitar and he also sings as well. And he, he primarily writes a lot of our lyrics, which is nice because when we're collaborating, <laughs> I always hate like writing lyrics. I'll do it and I can do a serviceable job. But like, yeah, when we first were, were collaborating, he's overnight, he sent me this entire like Microsoft Word document. I'm like, this is fantastic because I like to just focus on the music. So it's like, it's really kind of nice dynamic that we have going. And then at the very end, we send it to our kind of chief resident musician in the band. Paul O'Sullivan in Manchester. <laughs> when he was younger, he like toured and like he's very skilled, very technically proficient as a musician. So yeah, it's kind of like this like system of checks and balances kind of within the band. And uh, we, we make sure the demo is good enough and then we send it off to Manchester Paul. Um, and then we throw in some percussion with Pennsylvania Paul and kind of mix it all together. And, and you, I don't know, it's, it's weird how cohesive it all turns out. Like, yeah, I, I always say this, like, you know, I know it's like a cute, kind of news headline about our band. But for me, the real story is that we truly do have good rapport and good musical chemistry. And like, you, you can't just find that, you know, every day. Like I've played with a lot of different musicians and like you either have it or you don't have it with people. But like, for whatever mm -hmm. reason, I don't know if it's the name thing or something else, but we just all really click and like, and it's crazy. Cause like on our EP, we had to use five different recording softwares and just kind of blend it all together. And it was just kind of like, a, some, you know, at times it felt like a logistical nightmare, nightmare. And I'm just like, how is this ever going to happen? And then like, finally, when we released it, it was like, wow, this flows really well. Like there was like, like a guardian angel watching over us or something. It just turned out really like smooth. And I was like, oh, thank God. Like, you know, cause it was, yeah, a lot of work yeah. but when it came out smooth in the end and all is well that ends well. So everything fell into place. Right. What would you like to see us do? Uh, you know, uh, me, I've just... I think I would love to see you guys just continue to do fun songs, you know, do the fun songs. I mean, you know, you know the Paula Sullivan band with four guys, all with the same name uh, that just screams, you know, fun. You know, fun. So keep, yeah. Keep the music fun, man. Keep the music fun. Uh, the Paul O'Sullivan band, uh, they're, uh, they're all over social media. They, they're pretty much gone viral uh, within the last, when did you guys really start to go viral? It's only been a couple, I only noticed you guys the last couple of days. Right, the LP? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's kind of interesting, right? Because we, The Atlantic did an article on us. So, I mean, that was like national news uh, back in March. But then, but then like the pandemic, and we actually got like a licensing deal from our YouTube video because <laughs> we released our music video. But then everything came to a screeching halt with the pandemic. And we're like, okay, well, what's kind of our second act here? So that's when we released that EP. And we're like, hey, we're, you know, we're quarantined anyway. We might as well... And, you know, working remotely is our bread and butter. Let's just rise right. to the of what we're doing. So we did this EP, and that really got a lot of traction. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Like, there's a there's a radio station in my hometown, They like a rock radio station. They played our Rebecca Black cover yesterday. Um, and then there was another radio station that played Old Town Road. And it's just interesting because it's like, diff it's there's like something for everyone on this EP. It really, like, yeah. you know, it runs the gamut. And it's just, it's just been really cool. And it's just really seeing, like, gaining a lot of traction right right now so we're, we're very grateful and fortunate to be in that position and thank right. you for having us too on here this is so cool dude you're welcome i told you i just think it's just cool man it's just cool man paul uh pennsylvania paul did you want to say something no that you're right you, you had you know i asked you what you had suggested and that's sort of uh, along the lines of what what's sort of catching is that there's a country song there's a pop song there's an old you know uh 70s song what right wasn't it 70s is the africa song uh yeah early 80s yeah i think 1981 yeah and we're just having fun and surfing the fun way that's right <laughs> <laughs> the paul o'sullivan band you can, again you can find them all over uh social media just uh google paul o'sullivan band four guys they're all named Paul O'Sullivan. They all play different instruments, and uh, they all live in different parts of the world. It's uh, it very well may be the world's first, uh, the world's first virtual band, the Paul oh. O'Sullivan band, guys.
Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us uh, on the River 105.9. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.